Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Today, we will discuss about the sternum, commonly known as the breastbone. First of all, sternum is a flat bone. Let's have a look at the bone. So, this shaded bone which you can see is the sternum and this bone is divided into three parts. First is the manubrium of the sternum. This green colored part is the manubrium. The manubrium is connected to the body of the sternum which is the second part. And third is the xiphoid process which is this purple colored part. Let's discuss these parts in detail and see how the bones articulate with the sternum. Taking the first part of the sternum that is the manubrium. It is the thickest and the strongest part of the sternum. The manubrium forms an angle with the body of the sternum which is convex forwards and it is called as the sternal angle. The anterior surface of the manubrium is convex from the sides and is concave from above downwards. So this is the sternum and this is the manubrium. This is the sternal angle which is formed when manubrium articulates with the body. Okay. As we mentioned that bones articulate with the sternum so it must have notches present for them. So let's discuss the notches present on the manubrium. The superior border has the uvular notch in the median part and there are clavicular notches on the sides for attachment of the clavicle or the collarbones. The lateral borders bear costal notches for articulation with the first and upper end of second costal cartilage. We'll look at these notches in a while. Before that, let's discuss the second part that is the body. The anterior surface of the body has three transverse ridges. The lateral borders of the body has costal notches for attachment of the ribs. Let's have a look at the notches. This is the lateral view of the sternum and for reference let's also take the anterior view. This is the uvular notch which is present in the median part of the manubrium. This is the clavicular notch which is present for the clavicles or the collar bones to articulate. After this we have the costal notch for the first rib. As we discussed here that there is costal notch for upper end of the second costal cartilage on the manubrium. And here it is. This is the demi facet for the second costal cartilage. This half facet is present on the manubrium and this half facet is present on the body of the sternum. Again we take the lateral view and see rest of the notches. This is the third costal notch. This is the fourth costal notch. This is the fifth costal notch. This is the sixth costal notch. And again, we have a demi facet for the seventh costal cartilage, which has one half on the body of the sternum and one half on the xiphoid process. This is how it looks when all the respective bones articulate with the sternum. This is how the clavicles and the first rib articulate with the notches on the manubrium of the sternum. So that is it for today guys. I hope you understood today's topic. If you have any queries, you can drop them in the comment section. And also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. The link is in the description. And see you guys in the next one.